Uh, Scott Brown here. Today we carry on with the retaining wall. Alright, I'm just knock some bracing off. What brings you here, bro? Huh? What brings you here? Oh, uh, Pato needs uh, the router, router table, man. Huh? Uh, he's borrowing my router table, bro. You know, it's a fist tool. Uh, oh, is that like a modified? Yeah, fist tool MFT. And I took the, the top bit off and just put a router table in there. That's pretty cool. There's my router at the back. Ah. So is he going to borrow the route? Oh, it's already on then. Yeah, well. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, he's already mounted. Thanks for letting me borrow your hammer. I send a bill. Send a bill. <laughs> All right. Cameron is uh, hoping to give Pato that router table. Pato's not here this morning though. He needs that for his uh, for his shed. He's still building that shed. He's routering up all the tongue and groove. Anyway, I borrowed his hammer because the Vaughn hammer isn't very good at pulling out nails. This top is doing a great job of keeping the dirt dry. Great job. Great job. The next day. Okay. Day two. Oh. Hey, Pato. Stop filming. I stopped filming yesterday and started digging. I've got you uh, your router table in here, bro. Oh, nice. It's pretty fun to use, eh? Well, the table? Is it heavy? No, nah, surely not. Not too bad. You put the height adjuster there and everything. Oh, you got the. Did you charge up the earbuds? Yeah. Oh, sorry. So I stopped filming yesterday and became a drain layer. And I'll show you how I've dug it to suit the future drainage. So all of that is like cut down into sort of level layers. And all down here as well. And then over here, it drops down more. And that's the sort of exit point for the drainage. I wanted to get that done before we start putting boards on the posts. Which is what we're going to start doing now. It was good for demoing, but way too heavy. Back to the one. Here's the rain. So the uh, the boards that we're using are tongue and groove. So that's the tongue there. That's the groove. So we lift this up, comes down here, and slots in. And we smash it down with this block here. Just an offcut. And then we uh, put the ruler down there on the flat part and we measure up to our mark here which represents the top of the wall and we've got 837 and you got the same eh? Wow! Perfectly level! Pato's just happy to be working with me again. So excited. Beautiful screws, 
So we're screwing the boards in now. We started from the lowest point down here and uh, we leveled it, stepping up to suit the ground. So from this side, it looks like that. Look how straight this is. Beauty. Oh my gosh. Can you believe it? So this is the top one. And uh, obviously we don't want the tongue in the top. So we have to rip it off. All right, so we've made this little sample piece here before we rip the full length. All the way around, Scott. That is the height. Tell you what, guys, it went well. The wall is very straight, very straight. Very satisfied with how straight the wall is. And we got to the top of this wall. So uh, one more wall to go. On Monday, we'll come back here. And uh, eventually it's gonna have this cap on the top, just like this wall. We're kind of copying this terraced wall here, doing it down there. Hope you guys have a good weekend. Nice working with you again, Pardo. You too, brother. Use that router table in the weekend? Oh uh, yeah, I'll do a little Insta story. Yeah? Yeah, try and make an effort. Alright, I'll put your Instagram name up, up there. Yeah, have a good weekend.